Hi, scientists. Hello. Today, we will be talking about what our planet is made up of. Make sure you have your magnifier. We will be using it. All right. Now, what do you think these are? Hmm? What would you call them? Pretty rocks? Gems? Sparkly things? Stones? They are called minerals. Can you say minerals? Minerals. Great job. All right. Who studies minerals? Do you know? Geologists? Oh my goodness. Aiden. Yes, geologists. You are smart. Geologists. Can you say geologists? Geologists. Good job. Geologists study the earth and its processes. Processes? Well, a process could be like an earthquake. Ah! Or a volcano. Or fossils. Do those sound familiar? Yep. Or minerals. That's right. Geologists study all sorts of things about the earth. So a paleontologist is a type of geologist. So the geologists we're going to talk about are the ones who study these amazing minerals. Okay. Whoa. So our earth is made up of many, many layers of minerals. And if we were to dig deep, deep down into the inside of our earth, we would see all these cool layers of different kinds of minerals. But today we were going to talk about the minerals on the surface. Okay. Look at all these gorgeous minerals. Now, there are cool. three different things that can break these minerals down. If you hold them in your hand, and we did send you some, you can see how hard they are, right? So if something were to break it down, it would have to be very strong or it would take a very long time, right? Yes. Okay. So what are these three things? Hmm. Let's think. Can you think of three things? Hmm. I will tell you. You ready? Wind. Ooh. Water. Whoa. And heat. Pretty cool, right? Let's repeat those. Wind. Wind. Water. Water. And heat. And heat. That's right. So we're going to start by talking about wind. <sighs> yeah. So when the wind blows over these minerals, it starts to wear them away. Okay. Have you ever gone to the beach, even at a lake or the ocean? Yeah. What do you see in between your toes as you walk to the shore? Sand. Ah, sand. That's right. And if we take our magnifier and we look up close, what do we see? What do you see, Aiden? Tiny, teeny little rocks and teeny little pieces of something, right? Yeah, it looks like broken down rocks. And... Yeah, broken down there minerals. That's right. So the wind has broken down these minerals into tiny little pieces. Pretty cool, right? Now, water. Water does the same thing. Can you think of any bodies of water on our planet? Rivers. Rivers. Lakes. Lakes. Ocean. Oceans. That's right. Those are the big ones. Now, when they move, and they move, right? Rivers oh, move, yeah. streams they flow move. through. Yeah, oceans, waves, that's right. They move over these minerals and they wear them down too. They wash pieces away. Are, is there sand in the ocean? Yes. yes. At the bottom, right? Is it wearing down minerals as well? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we have wind and we have water and they are breaking down our minerals into tiny little pieces. Pretty awesome. Now, what happens when all of these broken down minerals stick back together? Hmm. Do they get turned into... They get turned into something else. What is this thing? That looks like a rock. It is a rock! Can you tell the difference? It's kind of hard, right? Well, a rock is made up of two, at least two, minerals. Two different kinds of minerals. Or That's what a rock is. How cool is that? So now That's you know the awesome. difference between a rock and a mineral. Pretty cool, right? So I want to show you a fun little activity that I like to do, okay? So why don't you go ahead and put your minerals that you were sent into your cup from your dino dig and add your sand and then add some water, just like in the ocean or in a river and then sift through 
and find your treasures because that's what's going on. As the water wears them down, sometimes when you're at a beach and you sift through the sand, you can find something beautiful. One of these beautiful minerals. Some, it's amazing. Maybe some shells as well. Maybe some shells, yeah. We looked at those last time. So you can go on a treasure hunt. Pretty awesome, right? All right, so next time you're going to come back and join us for a volcano! What? Yes, that's right. That we like to have great. science fun. And we're gonna talk about that third element that can break down minerals called, what? what was the third one? We have wind, we have water, and we have heat. heat. Yes, all right, so we will see you next time.